Are we? Can you check? Are we live? No. Oh, it says it's streaming. It's live. It's live. Are we live? Are we here? Let me see. Are we live? Why are no? <laughs> it oh, says we're there. streaming. Okay, okay, ready? Three, two, one. Let's, Let's get, get naked. naked. <laughs> oh my god, I was really stressing out just there because I. It's like basically, guys, hi, my name is Anna. This Hi, my name is Juan. Juan, and we are without David and Danny today, and we are literally. I learned how to like OBS like last night, and uh, I was really stressing out just now because it wasn't connecting. But um, for anyone who's gonna watch this stream later, I'm just gonna say we're talking about mainly V and Jenny. The that news today, obviously, that's what you came for. But just very briefly, I just want to explain why this is the setup today. <laughs> Uh, uh, because Danny, well, okay, David, he is basically, we're not going to see him for the next few weeks. Yeah. Because he's going to be really, really busy working on Ramen and Chill. Going to forget his face. Yeah, yeah. So he, he actually moved all of his, like, editing computer stuff to his house. He said he's going to, like, spend days and nights just editing. Um, he's going to be, like, not sleeping at all. And so that's what he's doing. And Danny, he was meant to be on, like, military... Like not reservice, but like, like when you have to go back yeah, for like like a few, a two days. Yeah, recap. Um, he was meant to be doing that for the last two days. Yesterday he was at home. He somehow managed to delay, and now he has so much work to do. So that's why originally this was not going to happen. But we really wanted to talk about this because, <laughs> as you guys, everyone's freaking out. Uh, we have so much to say. Um, but let me just uh, like in fact, let's just get into it, and then we can talk about ramen and chill everything like halfway in between. So. Yeah. Are we lagging? Guys, if it's lagging, there's literally nothing I can do because we're literally just doing it from our office, like <laughs> Wi-Fi. Um, so just watch us lag. <laughs> yeah, I, I literally don't know how to fix this. Dropped frames, or like all of this stuff. Oh, so, okay. I have no idea what that is. Everyone's everyone like, they're not dating, they are dating. Ah. Okay. <laughs> so let's try to do this. So guys, the, obviously, the first story, we have all the posts up on our Naked Soul with your uh, mic, not mic, mouse, screen share. So this was the first story. In fact, let's do screen share with video. This was the first story that we posted to our Naked Soul. Um, that was in May 26th. Yeah. And that was when this random Korean blogger, she was in Teju, and she was like, I was just taking like a picture of vlogs and then she was like in the background she was like she noticed these two seemingly very famous people she's like isn't that btsv isn't that exactly. jenny and then this spread like wildfire because she wasn't sure herself mm. but um she just literally posted that and everyone was like it must be photoshop but literally she had just was just taking like you know videos but of Teju. people say she wasn't intentionally like going yeah, out she was, was just like... it just they just happened to get caught which is like i still can't believe like that Not happened it. Like, how is that, like, real? Um, but so people were like, I, it, I think it's not actually V. It must be a different model. And, like... Some people said that's even J-Hope. Oh, really? Like, it was edited from J-Hope's Yeah, I mean, it looks like them, but it's not, like, 100% confirmed, it's right? true. Uh, and Hive and... They didn't say anything. Like, they... After, was, yeah, yeah. No, they nothing. didn't confirm, deny. They just kind of let these pictures pass. And then, obviously, everyone was, like, just kind of glossed over it. And then the next one, the ones that yesterday we posted to our uh, Naked Soul Instagram. That one was... <laughs> okay, now before this one, let's talk about this one first. That's the first photo that came out, right? Yes. So randomly on Twitter, literally two days ago, on Twitter, it was like Kurum Haribo or something like this. I don't know who is managing to get these pictures, Yeah. right? It's, um, that's something we're going to talk about in a bit. But basically... That looks is a photo of what looks like uh, Jenny taking a picture of V getting his hair and makeup done. He was pictured in that outfit going to the airport, I believe. Um, that doesn't look like a makeup shop. People are saying it looks like his actual house. Like they oh, invite... That's, your, that's his house? It, it doesn't look like a makeup shop. Oh. And usually like um, if you at a makeup shop, the stuff like they probably can't wear like so casually like dressed in like yeah, yeah, yeah. baseball caps and stuff. Usually, yeah, if you're like to make a famous, like I think Twice has their own oh. in the actual dorm. They have like a 
makeshift makeup shop and all the artists come to them instead of have them having to go to the shop. Uh, That's more private. Yeah, yeah. So and that makes more sense. Right? That makes if more that sense. If that's his house. Yeah. Right? So it looks like Jenny is like um like no makeup at mm. all. And he he's obviously getting ready. And so people were like, if it's a real picture, if it is real, people were like I read some fan comments being like Oh, like they must have just like got it. Like she must be a really early morning person because they always have like more like in the Jeju picture as well. It uh, looks like they and like she's like wearing no makeup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and some people are like, are you real? Are you for real? Like, are do you think they like got together in the morning? If this is real, <laughs> if this is real. Because they don't want to believe like, like that, that they could be like, I don't know. Uh, they don't want to imagine <laughs> so that. They're like, oh, she must be such an early riser. Like they all like they like morning dates. They're 26 years old. Yeah, guys, come on. Like, like, we're not saying this is real, but if yeah. it is, if it is. If it's like a normal relationship, you know. I want to read some comments. You'd know. <laughs> You'd know what's up. I mean, everyone's like divided on this. Uh, people are saying that picture is not real. Yeah. There are people saying that, that that picture of B and the thingy is real and then Jenny was photoshopped in somehow. But like, where are the originals, guys? Where are the original photos? And Jenny's the one taking the picture. No, so, because people said this photo exists, mm-hmm. but like they just placed Jenny's face on it. So that body is not Jenny, but like that's. But nobody face. has even without Jenny's part in it, nobody has seen that picture before ever. That's true. That did that picture did not exist until that's like true. two days ago. So I mean, we we don't know. We can't. We we just we're like report. Experts. No, we're not. <laughs> Although I mean, you. I mean, we can both use Photoshop. Okay, I mean, I mean, yeah. But then the other picture, they dropped a new one the day before, um, yesterday. This one. This one. Looks real. So this looks like, basically, guys, that's like the corridor outside his house where V lives. Because we know this because he regularly posts on his Instagram there. So that's yeah. like that's like the corridor. I think that like leads to like his uh, lift elevator. So he regularly posts pictures Um but then this picture, you see that Jenny is the one taking, taking the, the picture, photo. not him. Yeah. And basically, you can only go into that building if you live there. And none of these, there are no original photos of these separately either. Also, separately cannot exist. V is not holding a phone. He's not holding the phone. Exactly. He's not the one taking the picture. If he was like taking a selfie, like in these pictures... Then you can say, oh, maybe like he, someone got a picture of just V, and yeah. then they photoshopped Jenny yeah, that's in. Possible. But she's the one taking the picture. Yeah. He's looking down. It's unlikely. And a where is this of V exists just standing there? Exactly, exactly. And like, where is like, how did they get this picture of Jenny? Bonzo. In this outfit, like nobody has ever seen that before. Yeah. And so, uh, basically, like the the thing is, the crazy thing is to me is like. Someone is either like hacking her iCloud, which is like fucking scary, scary. ridiculous. That means you, if that is really the actual case, yeah. you can't even, if you're a celebrity, that you can't, not even celebrity, but like you can't take photos with your phone because it's yeah. just not even safe. Or the other theory is that um, she has a finster. And I think this is basically like turns out to be true. Um, she has like a finster and like she has famous friends connected, like who are following that account, like Troy Sivan. Or like her, fa- like Tong Hong Yeon from Squid Game. Mm-hmm. Um, so lots of her like famous friends are like following this like private account, and somehow people like figured that's Jenny's friendster. And so someone is saying like, uh, people are saying that some one of her friends could have leaked. I don't know which is worse. Being yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't like know which your is worse. Friends was. leaking your finsta. But do you think she would have posted that onto her finsta? Like, I don't know. I mean, why not? Because there were um, even like big accounts like Jacques Mus, the mm. clothing brand, apparently they were following that account as well. So on the like, Finsta? Yeah, on the Finsta. So it's like, would she have posted this kind? And she has like quite a few people following that Instagram, oh. I believe. I can't remember exactly what number it was, but it was like, I think something 300. So would she have posted, even if it's a private Finsta account, can you trust that many people to not, you know? So I, I think it could be her iCloud hacking. And the the biggest the biggest thing, guys, is that Hype and YG have not said anything, anything. Yeah, nothing at all. Nothing. And usually they're really uh when uh when was it Jizu and 
Tôi nói về dating rumors, they were like very quick to shut that down. They were like, this is not true, this is absolutely false. And Hive, and Hive is usually really good at going after like a comment, um, like really like how do you say it in English, like like extremely hate mean comments. Co- hate comments. Yeah. Hive actually goes after those kind of people, and they are regularly like sue. Mm-hmm. If these pictures were really just like fake and like completely edited, they would have already come out and be like, this is absolutely these photos are not real. These don't exist. But the fact that they haven't said anything, they haven't said anything since the Jeju pictures. They don't want to either confirm or deny, which is smart. Yeah. Because you don't. You get more traffic this way. You get more. No, and the, like, look, they're so young, and they're probably not. If they are together, if they are together, yeah. they're most not likely gonna get married or anything like that anytime soon. There's a high possibility they they will like break up or whatever. That's true. They're busy people. They're just enjoying so their the time. So the companies don't want to either confirm or deny because then you that you have that following for the rest of your life. You know. And actually, YG have done this, has done this since like G Dragon, like Big Bang. They never confirmed oh, yeah. the dating rumors. Usually, like the other companies do, like SM, JYP. Yeah. They're like, it's true. But YG was like, has always been like, we don't know. Like this is not like we don't go into our artists' private lives. We cannot comment on this matter. Mm. That's what they have always said. And now, uh, Blackpink are in New York for the VMAs. They're going to be performing at the VMAs. And V has also gone there. I think I believe he has like a photo shoot. And so, and when like I think YG released a statement saying um, Blackpink are just going to be performing their schedules in New York, and that's it. That's all that they said about it. Yeah, they could go on a date. But they're not gonna obviously. They are obviously. I think if they are together, guys, we don't know. If they are together, then obviously yes. Yeah, why not, right? Guys, Who's like, there? yeah, Juwon, what do you think about this whole thing? I mean, they're like grown adults. They can date whoever they want. Like. I feel like even if it's true or not, it's like it's fine. We shouldn't really like give much attention to it. Like we should just wish them happiness about it. I mean, of course, it's gonna get attention because it's like the two biggest fandoms in K-pop. Yeah, but like it's like literally <laughs> like if he had said this like a year ago, be like Blackpink and like BTS are gonna be date possibly dating. Mm. Everyone is like that's why everyone's losing their minds. Yeah, but like I don't <laughs> understand some people why they're hating so much on it. Like they're like, oh, protect V, protect V. From what? <laughs> what are they? What are we protecting V from? Guys, I think they, I mean they make such a hot couple. They, they are like, and like they should be like the next um, like those iconic pictures of like if you look at like old Hollywood couples of like maybe like Johnny Depp, Kate Moss. Mm. You're probably too young to know. I have no idea what that is. Oh, but they look. They're such a hot couple, and like there are like literal Pinterest boards like dedicated to these like really hot couples that in their prime when they're like. You know who's Kate Moss? You don't know Kate Moss? Oh my, she's like a supermodel, British supermodel. She's like obviously not working so much oh. anymore. But in the nineties, she was like the original like Calvin Klein. Oh, like she, oh really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do I and her and Johnny that? Depp, like they have like these like really aesthetic like couples like on the street like paparazzi photos. And what kind of want like Jenny V to be that? Honestly, yeah. Like they should be allowed today. I this is. Look, craziest thing to me you know or like you know justin and Haley bieber they always do like couple photo yeah. shoots and like couple campaign like imagine the calvin how klein powerful that photo shoot would be guys imagine if jenny and v did a calvin klein couple photo shoot oh. so everyone would lose their minds <laughs> they should just be like the first like i mean we have um Hyanna and dawn Mazel. to be honest they're like the first like really like properly like we're like getting married they're like of. the only ones yeah they should be the next them. ones yeah just to be like seriously like I love, like, obviously you guys know I'm ARMY. I support all their music projects. I really just want to, I'm very excited for whatever they put out. Mm-hmm. And obviously I will go and support if they have concerts or whatever. That's my thingy as a fan. Yeah. Whoever they date, because I'm not like Delulu in thinking that I will <laughs> ever get to date BTS. Like, come on. Like, and I'm speaking and I like, V has made eye contact with me. Okay. You're Delulu. <laughs> No, that's the thing. He has made eye contact with me, but in no way am I thinking in my head, like, I'm going to date V. Like, that's not going to happen. And, like, because they're within their own, like, they're in that completely different reality from the rest of us, you that's guys. True. They have to date within their own, like, circle. Yeah, they're, like, kind of, like, untouchables. <laughs> the Korean drama thing where, like, this, like, girl, like, really, like, she has nothing, and, like, yeah, somehow, like, and then this they prince you in the comes, concert, and then you guys did. That is not real. That is highly unlikely. That is not real. Um, See? Someone also said they made eye contact. 
V made eye contact with me also. I'm LA. very happy for you. I mean, I'm sure that loads of people managed to see. <laughs> um, so basically, what the... Well, I've seen some fan reactions and or some things on Twitter saying that, the, you know, those pictures, they got, like, very similar. They were, like, very similar ones on Twitter. But oh, yeah. they're not the exact same. They're not the same. It's only the phone case that they're arguing that it's the same. Yeah, and, like, the picture of him, like, in the corridor with all, like, his stuff, like, the artwork in the back. Ah, uh, yeah. That is... No, this is not it. That is not real. That one... So look, all of these pictures, this is empty. Yeah. The background. And then there's all this stuff in the back. That's I mean, that's real. Like you can't edit that in. Yeah. I mean, why would you edit that in, right? If you're gonna edit it for the reality. <laughs> yeah. So what I think is I'm very happy for them either way. <laughs> <Me too. laughs> uh I'm sure I I kinda of really do want like maybe this may be just like my pure fantasy but like I really want like them to just go out like a really public date in New York and just be like we don't give a F like about all these that's uh, I think that's I'll be iconic yeah but I feel like that will never happen because of the fandom like yeah, maybe. the fandom wars would yeah. be like wild what are people saying who's 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 chatting as naked soul <laughs> is someone <laughs> is that Danny <laughs> That's we have Danny. A ghost? <laughs> um, yeah. Or uh, we had products. Okay, but basically, basically, the this other was day, our highest performing engagement post on Make It Soul because everyone cares about this. Yeah. Also, the other day, Anna just said, "The end of it all is that she's jealous." <laughs> like, can I literally just have Jenny's life? Like, not even just about V, but just like in general, just her life yeah. in general, like. Just swap like bank accounts with me, please. Like <laughs> Jenny has it all. <laughs> she literally has everything. Yeah, personality, so, ex- like family, career. She's like so cool. Wait, who, who I is cried that? yesterday. I think that's Danny. Oh, why did you cry yesterday, Danny? That is Danny. <laughs> so, welcome back to society. The basically the VMAs are going to slay. I <sighs> cannot wait. Oh yeah, because last week, uh, maybe at, towards the end of this live, I was also maybe thinking we were going to give our opinions on like the most recent like girl group releases. Oh, because it was Danny and um, David reviewing Pink Venom last week, and I wasn't here because I was sick with COVID. <laughs> She's all good now. I- I'm all good now. <laughs> but yeah, Pink Venom, I saw on your... Okay, we'll talk about this later. But basically, that's that story. Um, nobody has confirmed or denied anything. Yeah. There are people still like yeah, saying like that, like the posters, like getting paid to make edits. I don't know. I think it's real. And the fact that YG and Hype haven't said anything to deny it, I think that's like the biggest thing. Yeah, that's the biggest thing. Like comparing it to Jesus' case, yeah. that's why it's making it clear. Yeah, and before when, um, actually when V had dating rumors with like that, um, the really rich uh, Chebbles, like daughter, oh. they were like immediately like, this is false. And even he came on We was like, like really pissed off yeah. about that. But the fact that they haven't said anything about this. Maybe it's true. Maybe it's not. And even that Jeju picture, this one. Yeah. There were, um, you also reported this, like, uh, blind, like, confessions from stewardesses saying, Ooh. yeah, yeah, on a, on a community where you only, if you're a verified business, like, uh, worker mm. at, like, a certain company, you can post on there. And they were saying, I work for this airline company, and, like, they... They flew together. Oh, they they were sharing it? snacks and they flew to Jeju together. I mean, they could. Of course they could, but I'm just like kind of shocked that they would be like that open about it, I guess. Ah. Right? But like, they're young. They want to date, you know? To be honest, like, they're so big to the point, they're such huge artists to the point where like, I don't think, like, if they just like, look, to YG and Hype, they're like, we're dating, like, what are you going to do? You're going to fire me? Okay. You cannot fire me. That's true. They're like literally the entire, like, they're like the breadwinners of, you know. Yeah, they're like. What are they gonna do? And they've been and like he's been active for how many years? Like seven. Oh my God. Yeah, you know what are they gonna do? They can't literally be like you cannot date. Yeah, we cannot. You can't have, do that. You cannot replace these people. No, no, no. So very happy for them either way. Uh, let's look forward to the performances in yeah. New York, and.
let's segue into the as we're on the topic of V and BTS. I posted this on our Instagram too. Oh, the, the CCN brain. made bracelets. Look, guys, I actually Danny and David showed these last week, and I actually really like them to the point where I was like, I'm gonna actually buy one of them. That's just what to, I said too. While yeah, right, 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 right. Because they're so and it's nice when you stack them. Let's show them on V. Oh, but it's like really pretty, like the color. So actually, I actually saw a fan's vlog in Korea. There's like a V stack. So these are the bracelets. Um, he he wears the red and the green together. And that's like the B V combination. So all the fans... Oh no, sorry. It's a V combination? That's what the fans say. Uh -huh. So wow. he wears these he all the time. Sense. Those are like contrast colors, right? Yeah. Contrasting colors on the... Color. Yeah, exactly. And it's like Christmassy. And this one I like too. This is... Oh. Oh, this is Sugar's... And I really, these come as a three, all connected. And like, guys, I really like these so much that I'm actually just gonna buy. What are you doing? <laughs> Christmas colors. <laughs> I'm gonna buy off the website. But yeah, these are like handmade, uh, and they're like thread really strong, and you can get them wet, like you don't have to take them off once you uh, put them on. And actually, originally this week on our inside, we were gonna like, we did a giveaway, or they did like a giveaway yeah. last week. We we're gonna announce the winners today. But that's going to get delayed to next week. So you still have one more week. Uh, if you go onto our Instagram, follow us on Naked Soul. We have all the rules of the giveaway and like the event that's happening. So love that. So go check it out. Oh, we should post the link. Yeah, oh, you did. So Juan is Naked Soul as well. So go post that link. Also Danny. <laughs> oh, Danny's doing Danny's it. Danny's been doing it as well. Oh, okay. Hi, Danny. And also there's a coupon code, guys. One of the biggest reasons why you should tune in to Naked Inside every week is because we give out coupon codes where you can get stuff at a discount. So Lucky7, can you post? Lucky7, because we last week they get, we gave out five um, coupons only. It's 10% off for the first seven people. Today's seven, not five. Seven people that want to purchase anything off our website. So first seven, go get it. And this is why you should tune in every week because we give out coupons. Um, yeah. Why is it lucky seven? Because it's seven. I remember last week I was watching the live too and people were like, they, they got picked up all really quickly. Mm. They were like, there are no more coupons left. Oh, oh, oh. It's so, really quick. It's really quick. So, and yeah, uh, we will send you, we'll be sending the winners these, actually, these exact ones. So, so. The Vs, the V ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I super, super really like them. And like, she, everyone really wears like the red bracelet in Hollywood because it's like some sort of like a Kabbalah, like religion or whatever. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> there's that. Um, let's let's interact with them. Let's read some comments. Let's go back to main camera. Really and thank God, like, like I really was really worried about this, like OBS. Oh yeah, we were like freaking I was out, freaking out. <laughs> right before starting. Jen, someone says Jenny dates on her level. Kai G Dragon and now possibly V. Oh my god, can you imagine what if I mean, you're a G Dragon right now? Because the whole world is like feeling sorry or like you know everyone knows about this whole situation. Yeah, I feel I would feel just be like, oh my god, like why? Like I'm Big Bang. Like yeah, like I'm come GD. On, I'm GD. <laughs> People are like like pitying him like I don't know. Yeah, because like they're like linking what he posts as like sad boy posts, right? Yeah, right. But like, I highly doubt. And they were yeah saying like V and GD they were on Instagram trying to like shade each other uh, or yeah. whatever. None of that's none of that can be confirmed or whatever. But oh, also okay, let's. I think we should talk about pink venom because while we're on the topic of this, and I have also some things related to that. So guys, actually, of course, Danny and uh, David reviewed Pink Venom last week. I was at home sick. What did you think of the music video? At first, I thought it was like really all over the place. Okay. Like there's like four different kind of musics in this one music. Yeah, I was, yeah. Like, didn't understand it, but then like <clears throat> it's such an earworm. It like, is. It, like it really gets stuck in your head. It is, yeah. Uh -huh. And I, yeah, when the first impact of the chorus, when when I heard it, I was like, eh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Eh. You're like, but then you hear it more times. But to be honest, like the songs that are like become mega hits, like are the ones songs that like from first listen, it's like okay, this is a, such a hook, 
like catchy song. Yeah. But I think this for me took a few listens, but then you kind of ended up singing like the whoa, 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 like all this stuff. <laughs> like pink man, pink man. It's like stuck in your head yeah. every day. For me, the issue, not the issue, but just like the thing is just like all the big title tracks that they've put out so far. After like, especially after Doo 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 because that was such a huge, impactful yeah. song. After that, I feel like Teddy formulated every single song after that to follow that same exact format. Yeah, it's usually kind of like a branding. It's, it is a branding. Mm. They always have like a verse, like Jenny Lisa starting, and then like Jizu Rose with the before the pre chorus, yeah, yeah, and then yeah. the chorus, which is like a drop, yeah. like a very bass heavy, BT kind of thing. And then always the end of the song, they have like a dance break. Always. Yeah. That's the, and that's, that's like, like for the, the past how many like how you like, like that formula. how you like that and this one and basically so that's why like it's a good like it gets into your ears but you can't say like this has like shown their musical like obviously in the concerts when they go on tour it will like bang in the uh, yeah it will be definitely people are fun. definitely gonna yeah it's gonna be fun yeah but like if you want to like over the past how many years they've been active, like show some like musical progression mm. or like, you know, like but this is all to down to, deviate. yeah, right. This is all down to Teddy though. Like obviously like he produces, writes all these songs. Yeah. Obviously like stick to a formula because it does work. It makes money, right? Yeah. Someone <laughs> said, why fix something that isn't broken? broken. Right. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, I, people are different. Like some people really like the song. Some people are like, I was disappointed. This is what they put out after two years. Obviously, it's up to you. Everyone has different tastes. People can have different tastes. I'm sure this is like the pre-release song anyway. I'm yeah, sure the title the track title is going to be different. Like, Love Sick Girl was, was slightly different. Mm. So, let's wait for that. Um, uh, nothing. But basically, in the music video, guys, because we sell our Aileen products, which is what we have on Naked Soul. Aileen, she makes these beautiful jewelry pieces. Like traditional pieces. Yeah, and literally the other day she came and like dropped off some of the products and she said, actually, YG requested some of her like pino. She makes like beautiful earrings, handmade earrings and like hair clips. And this is like, like a chopstick that goes in your hair. Chopstick. And she said, YG, they actually asked her for products to use in that music video. So we were like, what? And so yesterday we were like going through the, scrubbing through the entire yeah. video, trying to find it. But that, the hair clip that they requested is actually much smaller, thinner than this. So either they Maybe didn't like use it. Size. It's possible that they didn't use it. Or, or it's just like so like. Super tiny. Tiny and it goes so fast. There are so many cuts. Oh, yeah, in the music video. Had so it's many it's cuts. like, it, it, it kind of almost hurts your eyes. It's overstimulating. <laughs> So, like, we couldn't find it, but, yeah, that's really, really cool. So, go check out uh, Alien Products. I really love all the all her stuff. She's so nice as well. But these are, like, really pretty, though. Like, you can wear this every day. Yeah. I would wear this every day. Yeah. And just, like, all of their looks served. Like, all of the looks served. And, like, the Jenny, the first cut in, like, the, the red and, like, the, oh, yeah. the twisted hair stuff. Yeah. Like, seriously, they serving us looks so i love lisa in the the one scene her makeup was so pretty like with the buns with the space buns. oh yes she was yes. so pretty i'm like so in love with lisa right now and like the thing is yeah, all that you can tell that all the music videos are like directed by the same oh. people because although the sets look really sick like as in like amazing um it's just like it felt i got really felt reminded me of like how you like that the entire music video and because it's called Pink Venom, yeah. I really would have liked to see maybe more like more snaky imagery. Uh, yeah. But it was Especially just like... with the Jesus mask, that was really cool. Yeah, I really thought they were going to... When they, when they were spoiling the choreo, I was like, are they going to have really something like mm -hmm. snake related? But it didn't. There wasn't. There wasn't. The music video was just like, yeah, the sets, the sets look amazing. Production looks amazing. But otherwise, I didn't really... Yeah, feel mm -hmm. that kind of pink venom. Like others, vibe. like cutscenes, like fillers, I didn't understand. Like, why were there like frozen butterflies and stuff like that? Why well, that? Frozen butterflies? Like, yeah, like butterflies like, and capsules in ice. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> maybe it went too fast. Um, but otherwise, the pink vent of the. So, good, basically, I read this forum the other day mm. where um, people were discussing in Korea why girl group songs girl groups are way more like in the mainstream more popular than boy groups with the um, exception of like b 
BTS possibly, but like generally the consensus, like if you walk down the street in Korea, if you go into cafes or restaurants, yeah. loads of girl group songs are playing all the time. It's even at my gym, they're always constantly playing like girl group music videos on the yeah. screen, but not so much boy groups. Why and people that? were discussing why is that. And it's just like, I think the reason that could be is that girl group songs are usually like, yeah, usually a very hooky, like very me- melody based. Oh. And guy exactly. songs right now, if you I don't know, like Stray Kids or ah, like, like TXT, very the, it, it's like very angsty. Yeah. Angsty. It sounds loud. It sounds. They say they, it sounds noisy. They just sound like they're like you know. It's obviously they're showing like tough concepts yeah. usually, and m- many people are like, we would just want something like easy listening. Ah. And usually, girl girl group songs provide that. Obviously, not all the case all the that's time. True, that's true. Um, yeah. So they were saying like. Apart, with the exception of literally like BTS, but like the like especially the fourth gen guy groups, they're not really listened to by like mm. general Korean yeah public it's kinda, like, so much. It's chaotic. It's like you listen to it if you want to like bang your head. You could listen to it at the gym and stuff, but like yeah. it sounds. People are saying it sounds very chaotic, very angsty, and like they just uh, you know they just want to have like something they can bop to yeah, just yeah, sing yeah. along like easy. And usually girl groups provide that. Mm. New jeans. I, I was obsessed with new jeans. <laughs> I'm like God. every time like it like comes up on my YouTube algorithm. I'm just like on my, we say like on mommy, so we're just like like I'm like a proud like not a proud auntie, but like they're just so cute. <laughs> I How old are not. they? How old are they? The youngest one is like 2008, so she's like 14 years different from me. <laughs> then, then I can give on mommy so as well. Yeah, I and I. I, I all that actually, I, I originally liked really attention the best, but now I also like Hype Boy and Cookie just as I much. I love Cookie so much. <laughs> we have to. T- we can talk about Cookie too because uh, there was a Korean translator YouTuber who was saying um, he's he's Korean, like he was Korean or American or something. He was saying Cookie for anyone who like lives outside of Korea when you hear it, it's like this is outrageous. Why that you know the lyrics. For cookie, right? Which part? <laughs> oh, okay, shall we talk about cookie lyrics? Because Why? I, I girl, need to search it up. Girl, this is like a huge controversy because, like, in Korea, they're saying, "Why is this sexual?" You're completely anyone this is who's sexual. Ta- anyone taking it in a sexual manner, you're like twisted in the head. But <clears throat> cookie, oh. if you don't know, in the West, it's like it's basically means like coochie. It's like basically another word for girls' parts. Yeah. Since when? <laughs> Since forever. What? There are like literal Nicki Minaj and Cardi B lyrics that are like, oh, like come and chew on my cookie or like this kind of, it literally has that meaning. Everyone knows it. And so things like, uh, let me give you a taste. Uh, you're gonna, if I'm translating on the spot. Oh. Uh, you're gonna, it's so soft. You're gonna think about it all the time. Uh, come, come to my house. I'm gonna make this cookie. Come and take a looky. <laughs> all this stuff anyone here outside of Korea hears that they're like I mean it's completely fine if they're like adults singing it but the fact that like the they're like 14 years old I didn't know yeah yeah like no idea literally since when it's super <laughs> sexual I mean to be honest any songs with any food um, uh, references in songs has always been sexual like there was that song like by Katy Perry. I can't remember the title, but any like food references is always usually super sexual. Like Blackpink uh, ice cream. Uh, ice cream is also sexual. Yeah, she's saying there's a line that's like um, something about cream. I'm nice with the cream, if you know what I mean. But for Blackpink, it's completely fine because they're like adults. they're completely yeah. adults. Yeah, they're over twenty. How many years old when they sang that song? But like the fact that they're making these girls sing th- these lyrics. Yeah. Oh my god, this is the first time I've heard of it. Yeah, it's literally as not the word for like coochie or like pussy. Literally. And so <laughs> I'm like comment comment taste my cookie. Comment, comment take, take a, a looky. Look. I got sugar. It's only in my house complain. Yeah. Oh my so, god. But so Korean people were not really understanding like why is this sexual? And to be honest, if they were genuinely just really wholesomely singing about actual Food cookies. Yeah, you would say cookies. Ah, uh, I, I want you. I want to uh, give you some of my cookies. That's cute. But she's like, I really my cookie. I was about Come and the... take a looky. It's so soft. <laughs> 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 you want to want that dessert, boy? 
literally is super sexual and like obviously like um i i because i've seen their interviews like was it they're like two of them are like aussie they're really good at english yeah, yeah, yeah. and then i find their english so cute too obviously they might be too young to like understand the reference yeah i don't think they would understand but like obviously they did not write the song swedish songwriters who are fully grown adults and they're fully like aware of what this is they wrote the song did they it was there ever like an explanation of what this song i think they means? came on tiktok and they made like some of the um, girls like explain like oh this song is about like they were saying it's about like a claw a CD like how do you say like baking a CD like making a CD or something like ah. this it's completely sorry but that's just like bull that's like absolutely I mean crap. what does that have to do with like <laughs> it is super sexual and I think that they do realize ah. that it could be a problem but the thing is apart from the lyrics though it's such a good song. yeah <laughs> it's so catchy it's so catchy I'm singing it all the time and like every Korean shows like Yenung or Variety Show yeah. uses this song for like mukbang scenes. Yeah, now. in that sense, it's very wholesome in yeah, that sense. Yeah, that's why I thought this was like no. just about cookies. No. Sugar, I got sugar. Bet you want some. I want to see you taste it. <laughs> oh, I'm so culture shocked. <laughs> literally, and I, I know. But yeah, they are literal like Nicki Minaj and Cardi B where they use that this reference all the time. Wow. So, so you know. If you is. never said this, I would have never known. Yeah, yeah. So, but Hype Boy is also such a good song. And just like, mm. I think that um, well, some people were also saying, why New Jeans is suddenly blown up? I mean, obviously the songs are great, but it's like, um, I think the whole, that comes in cycles, right? What songs are popular? There are so yeah. many people with like girl crush concepts. Yeah, girl nowadays, crush. Like, I'm so tough. Yeah, la la la. I do what I want. Yeah, yeah. Whereas New Jeans is like such like easy, like just easy, like you know, just they yeah. look so happy. They look like, like it's not angsty. They right? look like very like innocent, clean. They pure. Are, yeah, yeah, yeah. So all of that and like the fact that the hair is like long, like the hair is barely styled. It's just like long and just like yeah. they look like their students. makeup as well. Yeah, it's like really clean looking. Yeah natural but like for like i think just the most important thing with any artist the songs themselves have to be good yeah above concepts above whatever else the songs it's have to be really a good. bop and they are bops really for real and like everyone in our office is obsessed with new jeans right me too i yeah. haven't been this obsessed with like girl like k-pop idols nowadays and like new jeans like completely took over my playlist <laughs> oh they are just too cute and you know danielle the half um where is she from Austra half australian yeah. right half australian half korean she she had videos of her from when she was like a baby Model. she's the literal cutest she's like so, she looks exactly the same she looks the <laughs> same and like i usually don't like kids because i find them like annoying but like if i had a daughter like that like i would be like i would be happy <laughs> she is just too cute and like yeah just she's like so they're cute. killing it and there are so many other girl groups. I mean, like, yeah, more, I find myself, I really like Nayeon Pop when that was, when she was promoting. Yeah. And yeah. even the new Girls' Generation song. Forever One. Yeah, that, that gets also into your ear, I feel like. Oh. Yeah, well, um, I don't know. <laughs> it was, I don't know. Yeah, I don't find myself listening what, into to, like, guy groups. Yeah, Obviously, me too. With me the exception too. of BTS. Oh, so I haven't seen any guy really. Have there been recent guy releases of K-pop? I don't know. I'm not sure. It's all like girls like I've or like... Oh yeah, I've has a new song. You said you really like that song. I love that song. Yeah. <laughs> so the girl girls are killing it. After Like is a good song. Seriously killing it. Yeah, they have good songs too. Yeah, they like love catchy. Dive. That yeah. was so trending. Yeah, yeah. And like basically guys, if you for anyone who may not know still, Juwon is like the editor for DKDK TV for Danny and David. So yeah. and she's also a TikToker. And so she's always I always asking her anything, anytime related to TikTok. And like what's trending these days? <laughs> what are the kids What are the kids? <laughs> what are the trending <laughs> sounds? What's what's like a good challenge that we can do? So <laughs> go follow Juwon on TikTok. So maybe we should do the pink venom challenge. I was thinking we were gonna make Danny and David do the pink venom challenge, <laughs> but they have to be in the office. 
Uh, but yeah, everyone's super busy, like I said. And let me just use this opportunity to just promote ramen and chill again because I so, see so many comments on YouTube and on Instagram. Everyone's yeah. like, where is ramen and chill, you guys? Like, you guys haven't said anything. Where the hell is ramen and chill? So the dating show that we produced, we filmed back in like June, early June. Guys, it's coming. And this t-shirt is actually the ones that we are going to send out to our backers on our Kickstarter for, for those who ordered the entire ramen and chill package. And let me just pull this. There's up. a red one as well, right? There's a red one as well. And what was I gonna? Oh yeah, okay. The talk about the Watch on our Naked Soul Instagram, uh, not Instagram, Naked Soul website. Can you post the link? We actually have. Um, we're actually selling these watch party tickets. Yay! Because we're gonna once the episodes drop, Dave is working hard at it. He thinks September, like first week. And so once the episodes all drop, we're going to hold pr exclusive watch parties where we're going to be all hanging out together and we're going to be watching and reacting and interacting. It'll be like a, such a fun time. So we are actually selling those watch party tickets. You'll get emailed those um, like stream like ticket things a few days before the actual event. So if you buy, then you can come and join us. Basically, we're, we're watch selling, it together. Are we selling the RNC tickets? Uh, we're selling them... No, you have to be on a tier in our Kickstarter. We're oh. not selling, but we're, we're going to think about it, just yeah, like having maybe. it on a separate thing maybe. on our website. Yeah, all right, these are super cute. They're like really casual t-shirts, so yeah. you can wear them anywhere. So we're going to literally ramen and chill with these. I still really want ramen. We gave this to the um, Sajangmi, uh, the owner of Lake 192 oh, too. Oh yeah, and she, 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 she likes it too, yeah. She's like so cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also guys, do you like our hair clips? Because <laughs> we're in the office today, so we're like, we have everything here. She was wearing, we have black pink actually. She has the black one. Oh, black pink. Yeah, is it? black pink. We love these. I cannot live without hair claws in the summer. So you can also find these on Naked Soul. I curated these. So I These are really pretty. They're fabric and like super dainty and super pretty. And you claw your hair back with these. We have them in three colors on our website. So, um, it's like slightly. This is black, and that's like the slightly more um, navy, paisley, yeah, oh. navy one. So yeah, go we'll check those out, and don't forget you have a coupon, Lucky Seven. I don't know if they've been used already for anything off our website. Oh my god, I've done so much talking today, but um. <laughs> okay, people, are, uh, where is it streaming? Still, many people don't know. Ramen and Chill will be streaming on DKDK TV. We will be putting out, guys. So make sure you guys follow us on Instagram, on Naked Soul YouTube, wherever. We'll be we'll be making announcements, so you'll know when it's coming, 100%. So don't you worry. Um, I'm super super. I just I've been watching sometimes when David, because he sits next to me on the desk. David, he's just like there. He's like just like Burst laughing off. his head off. I'm like. <laughs> David, like, what's going on? And I've seen bits of the editing. You yeah, guys are gonna... It's so funny. You guys are gonna die. I literally cannot wait for everyone to see it. Yeah. And, like, because we've become friends with, like, basically the, all the contestants. So they're like, when is it coming out? Do. And obviously... <laughs> yeah. Actually, actually, we, when we have our watch parties, uh, we're gonna actually try to get some of them yeah, in. Yeah, sure. And watch with us. That'll be really fun. So, That'll yeah. be really embarrassing and fun. <laughs> They're gonna cringe, obviously. <laughs> They're gonna cringe. Okay, should I, can I drop some spoiler? I don't know, David. <laughs> He's not here. He can't David. stop me. He can't stop me. I think I can say this. Which one? Like on the first day, right? When everyone like comes to the filming set, yeah. we had like a sequence where everyone we asked everyone to like do like a special something, like a like a song or a dance or like, talent. a talent, like a talent. Yeah. And so that is super. That one was like, that's like the funniest during day one. They're gonna, I'm sorry, but they're gonna cringe looking at themselves yeah. when they look back on it. So. Yeah. <laughs> no doubt. I would, I cringe. <laughs> so yeah, please just hold on a little bit for Ramen and Chill. And also, plus we have to film our panel reactions yeah, the to, comments to us good. watching the thing. So basically that's it. How long have we been streaming for? Okay, we started at... 11 okay so 10 more minutes anything else you want to say about recent k-pop releases that you liked particularly i mean for sure please wait for our pink venom challenge we're gonna learn the moves oh my god <laughs> actually actually can i actually use the 
I'm going to use this time to promote my my TikTok because <laughs> I've, I'm going to commit to it now because I'm like literally I've been putting it off for the longest time. But I think as a for like as business sense, like I have to actually just be on TikTok and actively use oh, it. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. for real. TikTok for real. is like growing nowadays. So guys, I actually posted a TikTok yesterday, but I haven't promoted it at all. Um, but I want to promote it now because I'm going to commit myself next week to make a, one TikTok at least every day for seven days, mm-hmm. at least. That's a big commitment. So I J Y Anna Lee on TikTok. It's the same as my Instagram. I'm gonna post. I'm I'm, putting, yeah. I'm holding myself accountable, and you have to hold me accountable. Follow her so that we know if she posts every day yeah. or not. I'm gonna post, and I'm not gonna post it. I'm gonna be exclusive TikTok content. So J Y Anna Lee. It's the same as my Instagram. And obviously Juan, she's on TikTok. She has like over one million followers on TikTok. She's like my go-to. And <laughs> what am I a TikTok guru? You are my TikTok guru. <laughs> so yeah, um, Danny and David. Well, I mean, we probably won't see much of David from the mm. from the next upcoming weeks. But Danny, when he's back in the office, will be sure. filming. We're always thinking of ways to film, uh, especially like like fun ways to like promote our products. We have these like toe socks that are actually on our website. <laughs> You guys, any I actually I can get advice from any people. Any ideas? They're like toe socks. Um, they're like super like functionality wise. They're like the best toe socks I've ever tried. Yeah. But like I just we just can't know like a good way to like promote, promote them it without like you know tapping into the foot fetish <laughs> society. Any like real or like TikTok ideas of how we can promote toe socks, how guys? Would, how would we do that? Like I've been like trying to brainstorm, but I can I literally can't come up with nothing. Like you know how like the like the yopoki, that what the guys did for yopoki. That was really fun. That's really fun. But like food is obviously that's like quite easy to do. Hold Could on. we like do it the same but with feet? You know the yopokis, this thing. That yeah, made. that one was really fun. But toe socks is so hard. How how, how do you promote you? toe socks in a night like fun and like I don't know. Like, I don't know as well. Yeah, I literally don't know. So any ideas, I would appreciate. Without, you know, sexualizing. <laughs> we don't want to end up like Anna's feet somewhere on the, on no, the internet. No, 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 no. So, so yeah. Uh, Tom Cruise with socks dance popped in my head. There's a dance like that. We should, like, People are asking it. if we're gonna go to the Busan BTS concert. Oh, the free, room. the free concert. Yeah, but guys, also that's not. You have to fight to that, fight to the <sighs> death for that. Yeah. You're ticketing just because it's free doesn't mean like everyone can go. Yeah. Uh, there's a like, limited capacity, so obviously we'll try. But you guys know, like you can like watch it, stream it as well for free, right? Yeah, but obviously people wanna like go yeah, and see. Go there. Yeah. Um, I was gonna say something. Oh, back um, next week, obviously, we'll be back with Danny, David, back to our usual setup. I'm not sure where exactly the studio will be, mm-hmm. um, but uh, Xander and Sonny have actually found a new studio. Oh! Yeah, but I don't know if it will be ready for next week, so we'll have to probably, like, rent. A studio? A different, yeah, just for... Well, because it, it takes ages to get everything set up and That's stuff. That's true. <laughs> Anything else we want to say for the next five minutes? Just, like, maybe general catch-up. What have we been up to these days? What have you been up to? What are you? Today's a Friday night. Today's a Friday? Oh my god! We always do naked. <laughs> we always do naked insights on a Friday. What are you I doing totally tonight? I forgot. What are you doing tonight? Uh, I'm gonna go to a Philippine restaurant. Tonight. Are you? Yes. What What is that? Yeah. Where is that? It's like in Hewato, mm-hmm. and it's been a while since I've been eating Filipino food, so I'm gonna go there with my brother. You should vlog or TikTok it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how people vlog. It's so shy i'm shy you're shy <laughs> like you have like over a million followers on tiktok oh try cc yeah i love cc um guys should i uh just because people who are not um usually on my um my my channel maybe some people on my channels maybe still not know i like work for naked soul and stuff or and vice versa but mm-hmm. like general catch-up um for me i've been like super anxious this week Mm-hmm. I don't know why. It's just like I, my thoughts just keep like, especially before I go to sleep. Mm-hmm. I try to sleep, and like I'm so like restless. I can't actually like relax. I like find it so hard to fall asleep. Why? And I'm just like lying there, just like keep turning. I'm like I need to sleep, especially when I get up early in the morning. Yeah. Like, I just so need. What time to sleep. have you been sleeping, Nadi? Like it gets to like 
two, three, and I'm still like awake, and like my mind is still going. I'm like, I have this to do, this to do. So anxious. I'm like, ah, uh, and then I'm just like, I'm getting so tired. Like my dark circles today. Like you should like, like try some remedies, like yeah. drink tea, lavender scents, maybe. Doesn't that help? But I, I, I'm going out tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I might have a date tonight. Ah! <laughs> She's but anyone who's still day. watching, if anyone's still watching, maybe we'll talk. If I don't know, maybe we'll talk about it. Because also, uh, let me plug this, guys. If you don't know, on Naked Soul, we're actually producing. Also, apart from Naked Inside, we're gonna have our own solo shows. Like me, uh, Jenny, she's gonna be teaching Korean. I'm gonna have my own solo show. I'll just be talking about like, like stuff that's hot in Korea and like Ooh. just, yeah, that kind of thing. Stuff that I want to talk about. Um, on a naked soul every week, so I kind of want to have like a podcasty section where I just just talk about like what's been going on. Hana will no longer be thirsty. <laughs> Maybe, hopefully. hopefully. <laughs> so, is Danny still watching this? Is he still here? Danny, please show us a sign. So, oh, but like the recent trend in Korea, do you know Asha Chu? What is this? You don't know Asha Chu? That's like the recent trend in like Korean drinks. Mm-hmm. Iced tea and shot chuka. What shot? Caffeine? Yeah. Oh. Like espresso basically. Oh. Into your iced tea. Mm. I haven't tasted it yet. Okay. I think we can just end it now. We've said everything we needed to say. Um, back to We'll be back to our normal streaming next week. Uh, everyone, thank you for supporting Naked Soul. Go check out our products. Uh, follow us on Instagram. Follow Chuan on TikTok. Everyone, all our socials. Thank you for joining in. I'm so glad that this was not a complete fail. <laughs> I know how to work OBS now. So, so yeah. Thank you for guys for watching. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Yeah. And TGIF. TGIF. <coughs> See you next time. Bye.